It's only a frustrating, frustrating day, deja vu after the, the Chelsea game, really. Yeah, I'm disappointed for, for the players. You know, they've worked so hard again, Dave, to, to put in a fantastic performance against a top level team. Um, but all the supporters who have travelled will, you know, will recognise that you know the effort they've put in and and you know the work that they've um, you know they've put together to try and stop what is a you know a top top team in Europe, never mind England. Not just the work, but the organisation, the discipline. I thought was really really good today. And we were the same at at Chelsea, you know that, and that's you know so disappointed for the players because they've they've just stuck to the game plan and. You know, we we have to get, and we we have to do this over a period of time. We have to get better players in who who can then, when we we've got such a good structure, they can then you know control the ball and move the ball quicker through the pitch. And I've got the ability to get out the tight areas. At times, we get stuck a little bit on the turnover, um, but that you know that's something that you need as you progress. And and those players cost um, cost decent money. So. These players have been fantastic for me. They've really, really worked out again, and I'm really disappointed for them and the supporters. It was a red tide a bit in the second half, particularly Ben Foster though, was was fantastic. Yeah, and, and you know I know Gareth's got pinned for the goal, but Gareth and Johnny, and you, you can name all of them, Dave. They've all worked so so hard today, um, and we need a little bit of, of luck really. And you know even our best opportunity drops to Yak, and, and you know if if he had just a little bit more composure, if he had to target, he scores. We've seen the, the way the team responds in the past. We need to do it again at Southampton on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I'm, I'm. You know, obviously, it's another away game. It's another travelling game for our supporters, and I find it amazing, Dave, that um, you know they're asked to do this over a Christmas period. I'm all for Christmas games, for Boxing Day and New Year games. I think it's traditional, and we should keep it that way. But the way they've done the fixtures this year, to to have nine days off, and then to throw the games together like they've done, I, you know, I just find. It's, it's really disappointing, I think, for supporters, and especially the travelling supporters.